Okay, let us check on these questions. Two harmonic waves are represented by the equations below. Okay, you have uh, two wave equations where y1, y2, and x are in. Actually, this one got grammar mistake. So, are in uh, centimeters. Uh, this is important. Uh, the, the units. I always pay attention to the unit first for this question, for this chapter. Always pay attention to the unit, use it, unit used unit use in the equations okay so uh, this one is in uh, centimeter okay for both of them x and y and time is in second uh, so these two equations these are two progressive wave equations okay so uh, the x and y in centimeter uh, and time is in second write an expression so i want an equations yeah here it requires you to write down the equations uh, or expressions for new wave when both waves are superimposed uh, superimposed that means overlap uh, so these two waves they have uh, opposite direction you see that they are moving in opposite direction uh, they are they are um, sorry they are moving in opposite direction one is positive kx another one is negative kx uh, so they are moving in opposite direction and they have the same amplitude, same frequency, same wavelength. And they overlap. Then they are moving in opposite direction. So this one surely produce standing wave. Okay. Uh, this, uh, this, uh, they overlap, they will produce standing or we can say uh, stationary wave. Uh, so... The new wave here, the new wave here is actually the stationary wave uh, or standing wave when both waves are superimposed. So we need to write the equations for the new wave, which is the stationary wave. All right. Okay. First of all, uh, let us write the general formula for progressive wave. Okay. Uh, the general formula is um, uh, y one equal to a sine. Uh, the first one is omega t uh, plus kx. Uh, for the second one is uh, also same, same amplitude, same omega, but opposite direction, negative kx. Uh, so if uh, further explanation is post positive kx means wave move to, to the left. Uh, wave move to the left uh, if negative kx means the wave is moving to the right uh, so they are moving in opposite direction uh, one wave negative kx means wave move to the left to the right positive kx means wave move to the left uh, so when these two waves superimpose they produce a station uh, stationary wave or standing wave and this is the uh, general formula for the standing wave yeah? When sine plus sine, you get uh, 2a cos cosine sine. Uh, this is trigonometry. Okay? So this is the general formula for uh, standing, standing wave. Write down this formula. Okay? Uh, so this is the formula we want to find. So a will produce the standing wave. Uh, or the, you total both, uh, superpose both wave. Uh, this is the total displacement which is uh, y1 plus y2, uh, you use trigonometric identity, you will finally get this formula. Yeah? Uh, the displacement equal to, the total displacement equal to uh, 2a, yeah? uh, 2a cos kx sine omega t. Uh, 2a cos kx, um, sorry, yeah? 2a cos kx, and then sine omega t. Ah, where uh, this part, uh, I want to write down this part, okay. Uh, sorry, hold on a second. Yeah, this part is the, is the amplitude. Uh, this part is the amplitude formula. Uh, this is the amplitude formula for for different position so different different x will have different amplitude okay 
Uh, so first of all, you need to identify what is the a uh, individual amplitude to find the 2a, which is 2 times the amplitude for the stationary wave. You need to find the k value, you need to find the omega value, just compare it with the uh, individual wave formula. Okay, so let, let us write it down, list down. Okay, what, uh, what is the A? So A here, it shows that. Okay, be careful with the unit. Uh, unit. So this X and Y, they are both in centimeter. Uh, write down the unit also. So this Y is in centimeter. This X also in centimeter. So the, and then the time, the time is in second. The time is in second. Okay, so now what about the 5 here? The amplitude. Uh, so this amplitude follow the displacement uh, if displacement is in centimeter because it say y is in centimeter So y is in centimeter. So the amplitude need to be centimeter also uh, Okay And then for x x also in centimeter. Yeah, be careful uh, centimeter x in centimeter. So the uh, wave number uh, here is uh, per centimeter uh, per centimeter uh, and then for the time is in second so the omega here is per second ah uh, okay so this very important you need to pay attention okay so from here we can extract um the a is actually the 5 5 cm uh, write down a is 5 uh, centimeter not meter is centimeter your a is 5 centimeter and then how about your um, you see these two waves uh, they have the same amplitude same frequency same wavelength uh, they, they just differ by the direction one wave is to the left one wave is to the right uh, they're just different in the in they just traveling in the opposite direction yeah, that's why they these two when they superimpose they produce a stationary wave, standing wave. Okay. Now we got the amplitude is five cm. So what else? Uh, uh, this part is pi t. Pi t is omega t. So omega is pi lah. Omega is pi. Uh, so omega is uh, pi. Uh, what's the unit? What's the unit for pi? Uh, no, I mean, what's the unit for the omega angular frequency per second? Uh, yeah, we compare with the time in second. Uh, so omega is per second, uh, okay, or radian per second. And then what is the k? What is the k? Uh, the k, because x is in centimeter. x in centimeter, so your k is in per centimeter. Uh, be careful. Your k is in <coughs> Excuse me. Per uh, two pi, the unit is per centimeter because it follow the it follow what it follow the x. The x is in centimeter, so k is per centimeter. Ah, uh, so be careful, not meter, not meter. You must look at the equation. Is it meter or centimeter? Okay. So now good, you already got all this. So now substitute all this value into the stationary wave equation. Uh, this is the stationary wave. This is the uh, stage standing wave equation uh, or stationary wave equation. So uh, substitute that. Uh, what is the answer you get? Uh, so the y, the total displacement, the total displacement is equal to 2 times uh, 5 cm. You get 10. Uh, you get 10. Okay, 10 cm lah. And then cosine. Uh, cosine, what is the k? What is the k value? 2 pi. Uh, 2 pi. X. Uh, okay. And then, uh, sine, what is the omega? Omega is pi. Uh, pi. Uh, okay. Pi t. So, actually, it's the same. Lah. Here, here, 2 pi x. Here, pi t. You see? Uh, it's the same. Uh, we can say this is actually this is the this is actually like kx. This is like omega t lah. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, this is like kx this is omega t. Yeah. That's 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 it. Uh, and then can you leave your answer like this? 
No, you must mention the unit. Ah, uh, you must mention the unit. Ah, uh, first of all, look at what the unit again. Ah, uh, so ah uh, unit ah, uh, let's look at the unit. So just now our uh, displacement also in centimeter ah, uh, our amplitude also in centimeter. Ah, uh, this is a uh, kx. This is a uh, ah uh, x is in centimeter also centimeter. So this is per centimeter the k. This time is second. This is per second. So, ah, uh, so then you must write the unit. Ah, uh, let me write down the unit. Ah, uh, okay. Ah, uh, so uh, this one is uh in cent y and x in centimeter. Time is in second. The y and the x they are both in centimeter. Ah, uh, t in second. You must write this. Don't just leave your answer like that. Okay. Ah, uh, so that's the answer lah. Ah, uh, that's the answer. Ten uh, cos kx sine omega t. That's the answer. Okay, with the unit, you must have the unit with the the uh, the equation. Ah, uh. you can just give the equation without unit. Next, uh, we want to find the wavelength. Okay, wavelength is what? Wavelength is lambda, and the frequency of the stationary waves. Ah, uh, so also get from. The wave number k and the omega angular frequency. Okay, so let's do it. Uh, let's do it. Um, okay. Uh, okay. Question B. Question B. So I want to find wavelength. Uh, and also frequency. Ah, uh, sorry. Ah, uh, frequency. So how to get wavelength? Ah, uh, get from the wave number. Ah, uh, your wave number k. Right, get get from your your omega is pi, your k is two pi. Ah, uh, so ah uh, lambda get from wavelength and uh, get from wave number k. Okay, so ah uh, we ah uh, k is equal to two pi per centimeter. Ah, uh, you must write the unit. Ah, uh, if not ah uh, you will get wrong ah uh, later on. Ah, uh, k is actually two pi over wavelength. Ah, uh, k is two pi over wavelength. This is per centimeter. Ah, uh, if none SI unit and none SI unit, you must write down the unit. Yeah, so that you you will not get wrong. Ah, uh. you if you don't write down the unit, you will get minus mark. Okay, if none SI unit, you must put at none SI unit. Okay, so next is um. Ah, uh, okay, next is uh. Uh, find out the value. Uh, so what is the lambda here? What is the lambda? Take you you got. Ah, uh, uh, just uh, cancel off. The, so you get one cm. Uh, the unit is in per cm. So lambda is one cm. Ah, uh, is that correct? The lambda? Yes, one cm. That's correct. Very easy. Okay, one cm, not meter. Ah, uh, not meter because. Because your x is in centimeter, so your lambda also get centimeter. Now, how about the f frequency? Ah, uh, frequency get from omega, 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 which is the omega t here, the pi. Ah, uh, omega is pi. See that? Omega is pi. Ah, uh, so find from that. Yeah, omega. Find for omega. Omega is pi. What's the unit? What's the unit for your pi here? Ah, uh, what what's the unit for your omega per second? Ah, uh, so ah uh, that one is per second. Okay, so omega is what? Omega is ah uh, two pi f. Omega is two pi f. Ah, uh, omega is two pi f. Ah, uh, okay. So cancel off the pi pi. Okay. So what 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 do you have? What do you have? Uh, it becomes like one divided by two. You get zero point five. Zero point five, ah, per second. Ah, uh, this uh, frequency. So you can also write as zero point five hertz. Ah, uh, zero point five hertz. Ah, uh, per second is hertz. Is it correct? Yeah, zero point five hertz. Correct lah. Correct. Correct. Okay. Very simple. Ah, uh, so you. Ah, uh, this is. Ah. Uh, Remember how you build the equation. Just remember the general formula: two a cos k x sine omega t. Then you just identify what are is the a omega and k. Substitute into here. 
Remember, this is 2A instead of just 1A. Then, uh, individual wave is 1A. Standing wave is 2A. 2A. Uh, so, that's why from 5CM, you get 10CM. 10CM is the amplitude, uh, is the maximum amplitude for the empty node in the standing wave. Okay, so that's all for this question. Okay, bye.